It's looking good. Let's have a look at you, Eamon. Uh, <laughs> How are you doing? Always good. Great. Looking good. Still smiling, yeah? Always. Excellent. Looking great, really looks good. <laughs> excellent, excellent. You can do some finishing touches, can you, with the, uh, the date palms, maybe? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> the evidence is there, attacked by a staple gun. Is it like in there? Is it cool? Is it cool? Yeah. It's the best shelter, best shelter ever. It's because you made it, that's why. Yeah, no need to pay rent. Exactly, yeah. Fantastic. Done it. Oh, she's still smiling. That's good. You just hang in there, keep cool. <laughs>
this is a one one of a kind of uh, program. Uh, I loved every minute in it. I mean, it's it's not the regular uh, leadership courses that you go. This is as the British people say, brilliant program, and all of us enjoyed it. Uh, if I I learned so many things about the program, but if I want to emphasize on on a one or two, I would say that we. Sorry. About what, like action? Is it something to do with the taking action or motivation? Or yeah, uh, I, I would say the, uh, the the five skills that you've taught us. I mean, like the Cairo skills, the, yes. main, the, the matrix. I mean, I, we, I saw it like you taught us, and I saw it in the team in the task. Like we were confident, and we took actions, and we took risk. Especially when the the last task, I mean, we had one minute and a half, and we had to travel like six persons. So we had to group together, take risks, stand on one leg, make as much people together. This is a risk we took, and we were confident. We the 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 problem we saw it as an opportunity rather than something that set us down. I mean, this was something really great. Um, I would like to say uh, I, uh, what I loved also that though we were b b small teams but we all worked together as a one big team before we start we were checking that each team does it do they have like all the all the things they need like do you have a hammer here you go we have one extra we have hats we have water so we made sure that though we're teams and we're not competing with each other, but in a sort of way, it's a fit, like it's fair. Like we would all go together, because if one team fails, we all fail. We had this big picture in mind, and I'm really happy about it. Great. Uh, thank you very much, Amy. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Nasreen. I'm from Bahrain Credit. Uh, from this course, I learned how to challenge myself and how to go uh, beyond my limits. Um, Especially from yesterday, I uh, never thought that I will uh, tolerate this heat, tolerate uh, uh, the desert because I'm not a desert person, I don't like <laughs> heat. Um, I enjoyed working uh, in my team. Uh, we learned, uh, I learned two things from the teamwork. Is first, you have to listen and then take actions. And this is what we were doing uh, when, when we were uh, searching for items. Uh, we were uh, making some decisions, what to take and what not to take to be able to make our uh, shelter. Uh, uh, I got the help not only from my team, from our, uh, my other colleagues. Um, I found an open hand from them. Uh, for example, I seen uh, he brought the gloves for us, for the two of us. Yes, he did, yeah. Yeah, and also Ayman, he told me earlier, uh, one day before, if you don't have any hat, I will bring for you. So this is what they were doing, trying to help each other. Uh, and I learned that we are a team, one team. If one fail, all of us will fail. And um, I learned also to uh, fight for my principle, uh, to fight, to uh, raise my opinion. And, um, Excellent. That's, that's lovely. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Fatma. I'm the senior uh, PR officer at Bahrain Credit. I am 25 years old and uh, the course overall for the three days was uh, brilliant, unexpected. It's something I did not think I would go through in a training course um, uh, sent by my company because normally we are used to the lectures and these kind of uh, means and methods. So this was different. Uh, the main thing I learned uh, from this experience is uh, accepting others uh, with their flaws. Th we are all different. That's what I understood. Don't try to perfect each and every person because simply we are different. Uh, this is something I was always tr trying to discover and learn more about and I saw that yesterday. To me, I was always the kind of person who could push herself to the limits, but yesterday I, I saw myself at my weakest uh, when I needed help and those were the members I never thought could you know, overcome the things I could do. So this is what my perception was. But then each person has a leader in him, it's just a matter of 
when you will awaken that side of him. So this is what I got to learn. So if you are good at something and you believe that someone could do better than you in a field, let them shine. It's not always about you to shine and lead. It's sometimes about just awakening that feeling in other people. That's it. That's lovely. I would like to thank Mr. Adrian. Thank you. Uh, I think uh, the Desert Challenge was a brilliant idea for uh, explaining teamwork to us. And, uh, yeah. uh, before we went to the Desert Challenge, I was saying that obstacles are the things that are demotivation for me. But when I went there, I realized that the obstacles is what keeps us going. Absolutely. So, uh, it's something I've learned about myself. Yes. Yeah, and uh, I've learned that teamwork is about uh, cooperating with each other, caring about each other, be honest with each other, and at the end, we all evaluated as a whole team.